City. It's the Wendy Williams Show. started it's time for hot topics come on If you wish hard enough, sometimes wishes come true. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. And Shakira are gonna be co-headlining at the Super Bowl this year in Miami. Quite frankly, I don't think that Jennifer needs a co-headliner. I love you, Shakira, but I think that Jen could have handled this on her own. Yeah. Just saying, just saying. Because now how long is the halftime show going to be? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, Jen's got a lot of hits, Shakira's got a lot of hits, although I only know hips don't lie. I, you know, I must have, no, but I know she's an international superstar and, and she's only 42 and she shakes it like, like nobody's business and she's beautiful and, and Jennifer the same thing. It's just that I know more about Jen than I do about Shakira and I just wish that Jen's performance wasn't interrupted with I mean, I'm just saying, you know, like Jen can come out and then she brings everybody. Pitbull, Mark Anthony, LL Cool J, Cardi B, Ja Rule. I mean, where are we going with this? I don't know who Shakira collabos with. I don't even care. But I'll be there just because it's gonna be a shake off and that's always interesting to watch. You know what I mean? I bet you both girls are totally juicing from now until the Super Bowl. I bet you their crunch game and their lunge game is gonna be sick. Cause it's gonna be like, a, it will be a secret shake off. I mean, Jen is gonna be 50 and Shakira's only 42, or Jen just turned 50. Shakira's only 42, but they both shake it. They're both beautiful. They're both really talented. They're both Latin. One from Colombia and one from Puerto Rico uh, via the you know, Bronx. Right, via the Bronx. But everyone in Miami seems to be complaining that the Super Bowl committee didn't take anybody from Miami. I mean, I don't even care. <laughs> like Jennifer Lopez has never done a Super Bowl and this show was starting, we started that campaign years ago. Like it's a crime. A crime. A crime. So why wouldn't you have her there? I mean, I know Gloria Estefan is from you know, um, Miami, but she's already done the Super Bowl. Um, you know, uh, Uncle Luke, Luke, you know I love you. He's not happy about Shakira and Jennifer being in the zip code, period. <laughs> Take a look at what he had to say. I am so pissed right now that I really want to use some profanity, but I got a lot of kids that follow me on Instagram I've noticed these days. So all of a sudden, the NFL, y'all going to bring in J-Lo and somebody else. <laughs> And just totally disrespect all the entertainment, all the African-American entertainment in Miami, so we don't exist. It ain't about me. I don't want to perform. But you're going to bring in J-Lo and the other girl. I don't even know where she's from. Nobody from Miami. Luke, you didn't have to be disrespectful. You know, um, all right, when, who should be performing from Miami? Um, because she could also bring out, Jen can bring out Khaled. And, and Jen, huh? Flow Rider. Uh, uh, flow, flow Rider. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Flow Rider. Has he done right. music with her? 
Yeah, uh, not that I can remember, no. Well, then he has no business coming exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> no, I'm talking about collabo songs. Right, right. Like LL and J Lo have uh -huh. collabo exactly. before. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, what else does Shakira sing? Uh, whenever, wherever. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I think I know is whenever, wherever, <laughs> hips don't lie, and I think I'm out. Nope, that's not her. <laughs> well, Pitbull is already in talks to perform with J Lo, so you, I mean, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be an explosion. And so congratulations. <laughs> Super Bowl uh, is on February 2nd. My whole family lives in Miami now. I thought I was gonna go down there, but now all of a sudden it sounds like it's gonna be too crowded. I think I'd probably just rather watch from my apartment or something. But I'll be watching. I was stuck on the Giants this weekend. I, can, oh, yeah. I don't know who I've become. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations to the Giants. Yeah. yeah, I was there. I was shocked. And there was nobody at home except for me and the cats. And, and so I couldn't change the channel to anything, but I'm watching. And then I put both elbows on my knees and I'm into it and I'm spilling food on the floor and I'm like, damn, I don't even know what I'm watching. I don't even know why I was watching, but I was there. Congratulations, Giants. Yeah. And so Justin Bieber and Haley, Haley Baldwin are getting married today for the second time. Well, they legally got married in a courthouse here in New York the first time. That was like a year ago. We didn't think it'd last, but look at that. So they had the rehearsal dinner last night. I wanna thank the people at thedailymail.com for these beautiful pictures. She's only 20 years old and she's working it. You know, how old is she? 22, 22 same difference. <laughs> she's, she's working it, he looks, well, that's an awkward pose. <laughs> See, he looks scared. But they're getting married in South Carolina at this really exclusive place. Um, and the place is like a five-star, you know, big mansion-type, look, at, there it is, place. But the guests there are fuming because they were notified at the last minute through email that uh, they can't go to the pool, they can't go to the spa, they can't go to the restaurants. All that stuff's gonna be closed for 48 hours to accommodate the wedding. So a lot of the guests are really pissed off about that. If I were a guest, I wouldn't be pissed. No, I, clap if you'd be pissed. Yeah. Well. then you're not true hot topic nistas. Because if you were, then you'd understand. Now, first of all, the, 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 uh, the hotel is gonna accommodate everybody with, with free food. But, and, and, and I'm sure they're gonna be real nice to people because of you know, the shutdown, because they want their business back. Um, I wouldn't be upset because I'd be all, up, first of all, forget the spa and the, food, and the uh, pool. I could sit in my room all day in this five star place as long as there's batteries in the remote and that free food keeps coming, you know, and I got a good view of the wedding and then maybe, and then look, 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 and then maybe you slip on a negligee and you saunter down to the area. <laughs> and you mingle. You mingle with them, like not if you have kids and all that other kind of stuff, but say you're a lone woman or just a couple with no kids there, put on something and blend. <laughs> get down in there and then just, if you can just get one selfie <laughs> or something, perfect. And then you take it up with the hotel, how much you were inconvenienced and you make sure that the hotel comps you extra the next time you go back. That's all. <clears throat> I liked it. Now look. I don't know what little Nas X is doing, but listen, young man, I know you're only 20 years old. I know that you've come out of the closet, plus you got the number one hit, and so your life is a bit overwhelming right now, but this is not the time to step away from the music game. This is what he says he wants to do. He was set to perform two, at two music festivals over the weekend, and both of them he canceled at the last minute, his performance. Oh. Uh, yes, oh yes, oh yes. So he tweeted on Friday saying, it's been a wild last seven months and I'm ready to take a little time off. Sorry to everyone attending the TwitchCon, I don't know what that is, or the Sandbox <laughs> Festival, I will not be there. I, uh, I love you guys and we'll make it up to you some way. Well, you know what, by the time you get around to making it up, people are gonna forget who you are. 
You know, that, that, I'm just saying. I guess, you know, and I get it. He's probably very overwhelmed the past seven months, like he said, have just been a whirlwind. Uh, you know, cause this kid was only posting YouTube videos one day and then the next day he's on the tip of everyone's lips. But you've got to take advantage of this while you can because I do smell one hit wonder from you. <laughs> like that Macarena man, like that, you know? But, you know, in life, Sometimes all you need is one hit, and that one hit can carry you through for the rest of your life. Ask Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock. <laughs> because they do that It Takes Two song all around the world. Everyone loves it, they're still getting work. You know what I mean? Ask that Macarena man. He, you know, he, he performs all the time. I don't know whether he's still trying to put out new music. No one cares, they only wanna hear the Macarena. <laughs> and with you and the Old Town Road, or whatever the song is called, Ride to the Wheels Fall Off, um, <laughs> look. You cannot afford to take time off and be overwhelmed and paranoid. You've got to ride this into your mother's retirement. Yeah. Really, you do. You do. Another weekend without seeing the Hustle movie. I, I know, I know. I had the movie times all laid out. I was just gonna go by myself, just put on a fitted and you know, some leggings and just go to the movies. And I started to lose the energy. And then all I wanted was Taco Bell. I, <laughs> and, and, and also the cats, um, they're, they're now used to the whole apartment. At one point, they were just upstairs. I know, they're taking a nap next to a furry pillow, and I got them. Look, Chit Chat, the black one, who I told you was shady, is no longer shady. Ch <laughs> I've got Chit Chat eating right out of my hands. She cuddles, they love each other, they sleep on the headboard right here, they, they sleep right here on the bed, they, 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 they now know how to get downstairs, they're on the couches and everything, there's, but they're not breaking anything, like, and they don't have real long hair, so there's not hair every place. And for whatever reason, the apartment definitely does not smell like cats, it smells like girls. Just, sm it smells beautiful, <laughs> beautiful and flowery. So. And so last night, you know, the weekend's almost over. I finished watching Andy at Watch What Happens Live. Then I turn on the news and then I get a phone call from DJ Boof. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what? He, he says, I'm outside of your building. Well, I forgot that I told him, like, uh, this thing with the Taco Bell, I, I just wanted just, <laughs> I, I wanted four tacos. And I wanted to go myself, but there's not one in my neighborhood and I don't have Grubhub or any of that Yelp stuff. You know, I don't even send an email. So I, I don't, uh, you know, so, but I didn't want to get in a cab and go. I thought that would be a real fat ass move. Just, you know, jump in a cab and go to Taco Bell and then, you know, eat in the cab coming back. I didn't want to do that either. So it's Boof outside of my building telling me that he has dinner for me. I said, it's, it's 10 o'clock at night. He said, just open the door, I gotta get to the club. <laughs> so, so thank you, Boof. He brought him just the way I like him. Yup. <laughs> I went to a book party um, last week. I forgot to tell you guys about it. It's this book right here. This book is so good. Be prepared, not scared. Your go-to guide for staying what is it? <laughs> Safe in an unsafe world. Oh. Okay, so the guy's name is Bill Stanton and it was like at a really swanky place and there were a whole bunch of swanky people there but Bill's delivery is so me and you. Like he, what they, I mean, they, like the former head of the CIA was there, whole bunch of high powered attorneys, law enforcement and things like that. And this book really, is, cause you know I believe in the killer. Now if, you, if you've known me even through radio, I, the killer exists, I'm suspicious of everyone and I don't take no shorts when it comes to law. And, and so, so I went to this and actually it's a really good book. It's telling us in our language how to, like when we go out shopping girls, you know, what we need to look out for. When we have our kids with us, what we need to look out for. When we're in the house, you know, and we, we think something's suspicious or at the mall or the movies or something like that. So this is a really good book and I want to have, I'm gonna invite him to actually come on our show to talk, to talk real talk with us about crime and how to avoid being a victim. 
He also used to, he does like a lot of security for a lot of um, entertainers and stuff, including he's uh, Sylvester Stallone's right hand man as well. Um, so, but anyway, really good book. Yeah. So anyway, so there's good news for Candy and Todd. Candy's 43 and Todd is 46 and they're having a baby. Yeah. <laughs> she is, uh, she's expecting a child through a surrogate. Which, uh, smart. You know, no one wants to tear your body up anymore, <laughs> you know? But, um, and, sh and they say it's probably going to be a girl because the embryos that she had left over um, were both girl embryos. Last season, Can uh, Candy announced to us that she's got these two female embryos left. I think it's great. Riley's not so happy about it though. Remember we covered this on Hot Topics and she talked about it on the show. Ace is three, their son together. Um, and it was a difficult pregnancy for Candy. And Riley is 16. Todd already has a daughter who's 22, but Riley doesn't want any more kids in the family. Like, why are you doing this? You know, I agree. Uh, only because, only because. I mean, I'm happy that Candy and Todd are pregnant again, but this waters down Riley's inheritance. Say, <laughs> say, for every child that they have, it gets watered down. You know, so I don't know whether that's how Riley was thinking, but at 16, I was certainly greasy enough to think that way. You know, like if my parents had money like that, it's like, really? Really? That'd be like me having another child and young Kev looking at me like, Mom, really? Really? Okay, so, um, but anyway, but good for them. I talked to Nene on the phone over the weekend. We were talking on the phone. It was like two o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. The runners were running past, you know, with the run, the firemen and stuff like that. And so I stayed in all day on Saturday, uh, but it was sunny and beautiful out. And I was talking to Nene on the phone. She was getting her hair and makeup done. Oh. I, she's always doing something on the beautifying tip. And I, as she said, so what you doing? I, I said, well, I'm plotting on a Taco Bell and I'm going it. <laughs> I'm going to see the hustle. I'm going by myself because it's very uncomplicated. You know, you just jump in a cab and you go and maybe bring the Taco Bell in there and eat it <laughs> and, then leave, and then leave the movie theater. And so she says, well, you know, wait a moment because when I finish here, I'm gonna fly up there to see you. Like Nene jumps on a plane from Atlanta like she's jumping in a gypsy cab from the Bronx <laughs> to Brooklyn. I don't get that, you know, and I get mad. I'm like, why don't you sit down? No, you don't have to come up here. And no, I'm not making plans with you because you might not make the plane or whatever. You act like taking a plane is nothing, but there's some people who just love to travel. And Nene is one of those types of people. She wants to see the entire corner of every single city in the entire world. It's exhausting, <laughs> exhausting. And she never called back and she never did show up, which I assume, but anyway. Uh, Cardi B, everybody, is taking over Paris Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. She's very stylish. I don't know what that is. But um, that's a head to toe floral design and I don't know what to make of it. But you know what? Fashion is fashion. Um, they call, uh, the, is, this the, is this the Tom Brown corset and skirt? Um, I don't, oh, oh no, that's that it, is. that's it. Okay, and that. Clap if you like that. <laughs> it's a lot of material. We're not used to seeing her in a lot of material, but okay, <laughs> okay. People are more interested in Cardi's bodyguard though, it seems. Yeah. Okay, well, no. <laughs> His name, his name is uh, Omar Price. The Bureau got his information. He's director of security for Cardi B. Uh, I happen to have met him before, which I forgot. Um, yeah, he was at Jason Lee's birthday party where Cardi was. He actually posted that picture, which I didn't find out until this morning, on his own social media, which says it was, when you finally meet your crush in real life. <laughs> And then I recall he did hang out like real close <laughs> to me. 
to the point where I had to say to Jason Lee, I said, Jason, I said, you know, um, Cardi, you, Cardi, you, you all's friend is real cute and stuff, but I'm not here for that. I'm here to have a good time. I've already got something going on. <laughs> so, but, um, but thank you, young man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little louder, everybody, a little louder. We got more great stuff for everybody. Up next, we got the inside scoop on the latest drama with Britney Spears. So, grab a snack and come on back. No, I am right on this one. I am so right on this one. You saw what happened to Justin Timberlake when he tried to do it alone? Justin Timberlake is no Jennifer Lopez. Now look, it's time for the inside scoop. And here with the dish is our comedian friend and the host of the new podcast called The Michael Yo Show. Give it up for Michael Yo. You know you're wrong. Okay. All right, go ahead, lay it down. All right, let's start with Britney Spears, okay. people. All right, in January, Britney Spears said that she was gonna take a break from the industry, she had this residency in Las Vegas, so she took a break from that. She had to take care of her father. He was dealing with a life-threatening illness. Yeah. So going through that, after he got sick, there were some uh, issues with the conservatorship because he's been watching over Britney. Mm -hmm. She was trying to get out, allegedly, and the father was like, no, nah, I don't want you to get out. So then that led her to go to a mental health center to get some help. Now, Britney, has, that's been six months, so Britney came out with a tweet. She's scared her fans are gonna forget about her. And she tweeted this weekend, I hope y'all haven't forgotten about me. I'm taking this transition in my life to focus on what I really want. I've been working nonstop, well, since I was eight years old in the business. Sometimes it's good to stop and reflect, miss you all. So she's really worried that people are gonna forget about her. Nobody's gonna forget about her. It's, you know, she's not uh, like Little Nas X. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. She, she, <laughs> like she can take yeah. time off to take care of herself. And now, Britney's father, has he been cleared of the child abuse charges? Okay, so let me break this down. Kevin Federline uh, told the police that Jamie Spears, Britney's father, uh, abused one of the kids. This is how it all went down. Britney. This is not sexual abuse. No, no, this is physical abuse. Oh, like, like gave him a spanking because maybe he did wrong? Because people are so sensitive today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So Britney and her two sons went to Jamie's house, uh, of course, Britney's father, and he had an argument with the oldest son that was 13. The oldest son up allegedly went to his room, closed the door. Jamie broke the door down, went in, grabbed the child, and shook him. And? No bruises. No. Is there a problem? <laughs> not the way I was raised is not a problem. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, uh, that, that's getting off easy. Uh, that's getting off easy okay. the way I was brought up. Okay. Yeah, so the police came out and did the investigation. They found no bruises, no nothing. They cleared them of all charges. So, uh, it, actually, go ahead. Is Brittany concerned that she might lose custody over this? Yes, she's concerned because he's oh. a conservator. So she's like, you're getting in, me in all this trouble. But uh, it's, it's working out because uh, Kevin, here's what's interesting that I didn't know. Kevin Federline, they just went to court last month. Kevin has 90% custody mm. of the kids. Brittany mm. only has 10% custody. Mm. That's crazy. And I, I heard that 10%, she has to be supervised with Supervised, okay. supervised, okay. supervised. Okay. So, but Kevin seems like he's a good guy because he's like, hey, she's getting her mental health right. Once it's balanced, we'll go back to court and revisit it and try to balance it out more. I was talking to Faith and Stevie J over the weekend on the phone. Okay. Random. <laughs> but, do, but, do, but do you know that, that Stevie has a large part of the custody of their baby? The, the baby that they have, that he has with um, Jocelyn. Oh my God. Yeah. And now you know moms always get custody. They, they always so do. So when they, there's a question about a mom, that's a situation. And you and the mom has to be really in a bad place to lose custody to a father like that. So, like, Kevin, apparently I've heard nothing but good things. Kevin has six kids, two with uh, Brittany, two with Char Jackson, and two with his, his wife. His new wife. His new wife. Yeah. So there you go. So hopefully it all works out. He grew up to be a stand-up guy, yeah. it seems. You know? Yeah. Um, all right. Now... Oh. I, I oh. wanted to have you here to talk about Aaron Carter because yeah. I'm a little confused. Okay, okay. Aaron Carter 
if you know him off of Twitter, he says a lot of things, and he's been going through a lot the past month. Okay, he's been open about talking about this. I got a list. He's been open about talking about his multiple personality disorder, oh. schizophrenia, oh. anxiety, and manic depression. Oh. All right, so he's been on Twitter just saying random things, and drama has happened because he's attacked his brother and deceased sister on Twitter. He said that his deceased sister abused him. He said Nick, uh, his brother from the Backstreet Boys, abused him. And uh, people started questioning his mental illness. Like, is this guy really OK? Because it seems like he's making up a lot. Then this happened over the weekend. He tweets this picture out a of tattoo. a tattoo. <laughs> it's over his face. Now, we all thought it was Medusa, but now they're saying it's, it's Rihanna as Medusa. <laughs> on the side of his face, and he has love under his eye. This sent the Twitter sphere into uh, like a twirl. People were like, dude, there's something wrong with this guy. What's going on? Now, now his, his brother uh, from the Backstreet Boys got yeah. a restraining order on him? A restraining order, yes. Yeah, so, so let me tell you what uh, Aaron said first, because he came out and said, no, he came out and said, I'm doing just fine. I ask you to respect me and leave me alone. I already have to move, and I don't need to be under scrutiny with every decision I make. I will take the necessary precautions to protect myself, and when I move, no one will know where I live. Hashtag missing my mom right now. So that's what Aaron's clapback was to everybody. You're right. Nick has filed a restraining owner along with his sister, and he said this. He says, after careful consideration, my sister Angel and I regret that we were required to seek a restraining order against our brother Aaron today. In light of Aaron's increasingly alarming behavior and his recent confession that harbors the thoughts and intentions of killing my pregnant wife and unborn child, we were left with no choice but to take every measure possible to protect ourselves and our family. I so mean, has Aaron responded to that? Yes, Aaron was shocked okay. by the accusation and denies that he ever wanted to harm anyone. He said he'll go to court for his sister's uh, uh, case against him, but he, he won't show up for his brother Nick because he says he hasn't talked to Nick in four years and he doesn't care about Nick and he's never gonna be family with him ever again. He also said on Twitter, he turned in all his guns and he said he's trying to get off of Xanax. So this guy, I mean, look, I know, I, I've known Aaron in the past, I know Nick, they're good guys, but Aaron's going through it right now and he needs to get off of social really media sad. and find some help. That's what he really needs to sad. do. It's sad. All right, so now there's more drama going on with Eva Marcel and her ex. Okay. Even Marcel just had a brand new baby on Friday. Congratulations. Maverick. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, with Michael Sterling. And, you know, there's still drama from the first child with Kevin McCall. We yeah. all know, know this. He's saying she's blocking him from seeing their five year old daughter, Marley, now. But wasn't he trying to deny that Marley even had anything to do with him at one point? Well, he was, but, in, in, you know, Eva says he's just a donor. You know, he has nothing to do with that She's child. She's been consistent with She's that. She's been consistent. And she also changed the last name of Marley yeah. to Sterling, yeah. too, which Kevin is not happy about right. at all. So now Kevin is trying to go to court to get 50-50 uh, custody of, of the child. And wants the girl's name, the little girl's name changed, changed back, back. To McCall. In the meantime, the little girl is like six years old. She's already in school. She's already in school. Uh, even wants her to have the same name as the, re as the rest of the family. Because they're a family now. Yeah. So I understand that side too. But here's the problem with Kevin McCall. He's going for custody. He's going in. He wants to go to court. He wants to be the best version of himself. Just got uh, charged with domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not good when you're trying to get 50-50 custody. So he was arrested in L.A., booked on a felony count, injuring a spouse or cohabitant. Uh, it went down in January. Name of alleged victim has not come out. He, was, uh, he had a $75,000 bond. He posted it. He was supposed to go to a hearing in August. Didn't show up. So they had a bench warrant was held for him. He had to reschedule it for next month. And if he shows up, he could be in jail for another year. So What does Eva say? He, oh, so... Eva didn't say anything. Her rep said oh. uh, Kevin <laughs> was given an ample amount of time to petition any action and never did. Also, the claim, uh, the claim, the long list of court documents previously filed by Eva, which Kevin never responded to, speak for themselves. Yep, so there, there you go. go. There you Thank go. you, Michael. Yo! Yes! Michael yes. would be performing October 11th and 12th. You know he's a comedian, if yeah. you couldn't tell. He's gonna be at the Brie Improv in California. Trendy at Wendy is next. Yes!
Products at unbelievable discounts is our new friend Mako in Lovu. Yeah! Yeah, I got it. You did amazing. From Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe in the house. Okay. So, so all the products we have here are from Rulala. Let's talk about mirrors. Okay. Yeah. All right. This mm. is the a Margaret inspired, home inspired Amwa storage organizer. This one now, has hinges. It's hinges. It, it opens? But Wendy, it's a full length mirror, but come on over here okay. with me. Okay. Not only is it a full length Ooh. mirror, but it's also a great place to store and organize your accessories. Incredible, right? So let's talk about the inside. Okay. You see that it's lined with velvet, so there's mm -hmm. lots of space. Mm -hmm. And then you have these LED lights that are great for like in those low light settings early oh, yeah. in the morning You're or right. late at night. Exactly. And I love the fact that it's vertical storage, right? Oh, that it's a vertically built. I like the shelves and the hooks. The shelves and the hooks, you can just put everything in. It's and then good. you gotta keep them secure and secured. So there's a, a, a key locks. right here, it locks. Yeah. So think about putting this, yeah. Think about putting this in your bedroom, in your guest room, or even in a dorm room. It could totally work. And the robber probably wouldn't think that there's all these jewels behind it. Like you close it up. That's it, that's it. Well, this normally retails for $490, that's but- a lot, no. I know, but it's a, it's a two for one, right? Right. But you're getting it for 73% today. It is $129.99 for Wendy Walker. Okay. Yeah. Maku. Let's move what on else? over here. Okay. Can we talk about bling? I mean, who, there's right. really not much discussion when it comes to a hoop earring. Seriously. They, they're it. They are it. This is from Kenneth Jane Lane. This is the 22K electroplated hoops. I'm wearing them right now. That's a good name, Isn't Kenneth Jane Lane. Name? Right? Great quality. Yep. The, thing about, the great thing about these hoops, not too big, not too small, right? Perfect. They're just the perfect size. And they're lightweight. They're lightweight, so they're not gonna weigh you down, yeah. right? So they come in three colors. You get the rose gold, the white gold, or the yellow gold. Okay. Really, the great thing about hoops is that they pull your entire outfit together. They do. Right? They do, yeah. So these normally retail for $60, but Wendy watches, you're getting 57% off. These are $25.99. Yes. Yay! What's this? All right, this is skincare. I am obsessed with this. This is liquid, liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is right. It's infused with oxygen. It's the starter kit. It's the comprehensive set. Now, Wendy, I don't know about you. Did you say I open that for you? Okay, you got it. You got, oh, it. got it. All right, so I don't know about you, but I don't know a ton about like skincare, so I love that it comes as a set, right? With this set, you're getting three products. You're getting this the cleanser, good. the toner, and the super hydrating anti-acne moisturizer. Really is incredible. Mm. Now, this normally retails for $82. Okay. Right? Nice and foamy and cleansing, right? Yeah, really very cleansing. lightweight, very lightweight. That's what I love about it. It's 63% off today. For Wendy Watchers, you're getting it for $29.99. That's Incredible. worth it. Good, Let's good. Okay. work it. Mm. Speaking of working it, look at your intern, Anastasia. Hi, Anastasia. Hello. Yes, Anastasia. She is wearing the Bagley Mishka collarless lamb leather jacket. That's a good name. Isn't it a good name? But Wendy, feel it. How does it feel? Lammy. Lammy, yup. Uh -huh. It's made with lambskin leather. It feels super duper soft. And as we go into fall, this is the leather jacket that Perfect. you need. Perfect, yeah. Perfect, relaxed fit. She's wearing it with a pair of jeans, but you can totally dress it up. This normally retails for $3.95, but you're getting it for 67% off. It is $129.99. It's a steal. It's a steal. It's a steal. Yeah, a it's so good. Okay. All right, speaking of steals, Mm -hmm. This is this from Gigi Capri. It is the CC Small Python Embossed Leather Satchel. Mm. It is so good. So talk about adding an exotic flair to your wardrobe. This is mm. the way to do it. I love how you're holding it right there. That's the satchel. Mm. But you can also wear it as a crossbody as well. It does come in five colors, tons of space on the inside. Do you know what it's made with? It's made in Italy, made with genuine Python print leather. Really? Really, great, I mean, fantastic this is really, product. I like this green particularly. Yeah. This is a really good one. The green so is how nice. much is this? All right, so this normally retails for 249, but you're getting it for 68% off. It's 79.99. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Okay, this yes. is something really different. I know, I love it. This is from Chic Home. It's the hooded snuggle blanket. And it's, again, the weather starts to get cooler a little bit. This is how you luxuriate and watch the Wendy show at home using this hooded look snuggle blanket. Look at the blanket. mannequin, look at the yeah. mannequin with it. Yeah. All right, so look at the mannequin, you guys. You're getting the buttons up here that you can close up, but look, it's so big, so warm. There are no arms in it, but it does have pockets. It does have pockets, so you can put and your snacks hood. in there as well. And yep. a hood keeps you nice and safe. Right, so this is really, really nice if you're watching this. This is show an interesting up. way of doing a, a snuggle, don't you think? I think so, it's super duper clever. The price is normally $100, but guess what? It's 75% off. This is the gift to get for Christmas. It's $24.99. That's it. You can't do it. Yeah. 
Thank you, Mwaku, oh, for yes, being thank here. You. Thank you, our friends at Rulala for these amazing deals. If you'd like to get in on them before they sell out, go to wendyshow.com. Hot Topic Sound Off is next. Everybody's got an opinion on hot topics. Come on over. How you doing? How you doing? Who are you? Where are you from? Wendy. My name is Lauren. I'm from New Jersey. What do you do? I'm a student right now. Okay. Who are we sounding off I about? I'm sounding off on Justin Bieber. Okay. Okay. So I'm a believer. Okay. So I respect him. Okay. But I think his career is maybe dying down a little bit. Yeah. I think him and Haley want some relationship attention. They post like a lot about each other. Uh -huh. And... I get that the hotel's compensating some of them, but some people work really hard to get that vacation. I know. And that's just, it's not fair. It's too last minute. They have enough money. They can go so many other places. Yeah. Why'd they have to choose that place? Got you. Got you. Thank you. All right, who's next? Come on over. How you doing? How you doing? Come on over. What's your, no, come on, oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your name, where are you from, what Ariel, do you do? I'm 25 from Baltimore, my tax processor. Okay. I'm but, sounding off on Lord Nas X. Okay, Lil Nas X. I believe he should take a break because he's like 20 something and he's had a lot of backlash. So, and he makes good music, so if he come back, he'll always be relevant. Like, he, he's been on, what? <laughs> he's been on the what, 19, for 19 weeks? Yeah, 19 one? weeks yes. with one good song. Okay, he makes There's no music, time to take, no, how no, old no, no, are you, no. how old are you? I'm 25. This is part of the problem with some young people. <laughs> Sometimes young people can be lazy and not understand. It's he's, not lazy. He, he's got to do this while he can do it. What do you know besides Old Town Road? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Thank you for being here, you having You're a good welcome. time? Yes, I'm having a good time. Good, thank you, have a seat. Now we're gonna take somebody else. Oh. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? What's your name, where are you from, what do you do? I'm Carrie, I'm from Brooklyn, I'm a post producer. Okay. I'm sounding off on Britney Spears. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta talk. Okay. We gotta talk about her. Um, her Instagram is terrifying, I'm, I'm, I'm scared for her. Her eye makeup, the tiny furniture in her gym, oh gosh. the workouts, the, the painting with the classical music, like, oh. She's got to step back. She has to take a break. Yeah. Like, we're, I'm worried about her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you think she could take a year off and come back and she'll still be? We're not going to forget about her. Exactly. Like, it's we're not. Different than little Nas X. It's a different, it's a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, up next, everybody, we've got Ask Wendy. Don't go far. Here we go. How you doing? Oh, hey, Wendy, my name is Jen. How you doing? Hi, Jen, come on over. Where are you from? What do you do? Oh, I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I'm a counselor. Okay, how can I counsel you? <laughs> Great. So, my cousin is throwing a first birthday party for her baby okay. the same day that I'm supposed to be going to Vegas for my 40th birthday. So, I oh, know, no, no. right? Oh, no, and no, no. I've had this trip planned for no, no. a long time. Have fun in Vegas. I even have tickets. <laughs> Have fun in Vegas. All right, that's what I was gonna ask. Look, should I go to the party or should I whoop it up in Vegas? Look, this is what you do. You get a nice gift. You take it over to your cousin's house. Yeah. Once you get back from Vegas, the baby's not gonna remember you weren't there. <laughs> you, you take a nice selfie with the toy or whatever you're gonna get yeah. the baby. This is not even a question okay. in my mind. Well, thanks, Wendy. All right, you're right, you're welcome. Come on over. How you doing? Good, Wendy, how you doing? Are you a model? No, ma'am. Uh, what, what's your name? Where are you from? What <laughs> do you do? My name is Helen. I'm a flight attendant. Okay. Yes. Like being a model. Yeah, oh, kind of. Yeah. Uh, Wendy, I'm 28 years old. I want to settle down soon, but dating has been so hard. For you? Uh, for me, yes. Okay. <laughs> when, I'm wow. when I'm dating, guys either think I have a boo in every state or they can't handle me being away for so long. Got it. So should I consider a career change to meet Mr. Wright or not? No. <laughs> This is what you wanted to do all your life. This is my dream job. All right. Yeah. Well, there are plenty of married flight attendants. There are. Yeah. I mean, there, 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 but there are people. <laughs> there are people who travel for their jobs, whether it's a salesperson or a flight attendant or whatever, who make it work. Yeah. But I like that you're 28 and you're keeping that in your mind. But do not quit your dream. No. For him. Okay. Whoever he will be. Whoever. Okay. <laughs> all right. Very well. All right. Come on over. How you doing? Hey, Wendy, how you doing? Good, who are you, where are you from, what do you do? I'm Brian, I'm an engineer and I'm from DC, how are you? Uh-huh, so, so how can I help? 
So I've had this friends with benefits since May, and he's been putting a little bit too much emphasis on the friends. He's been complaining too much, treating me like his therapist. I'm, I'm not Dr. Phil. I don't want to hear about those problems. <laughs> right, right. I'd like to focus a little bit more on the benefits. How do I fix this? <laughs> Well, and how long have you been um, with him? Uh, not with him. Well, well, you know what I'm saying. Since May. So like Since four May? Months, four months? months yeah. I mean, dump him. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't understand why you have to try to make it work if, if it's not working in an easy way in four months. You might as well just dump him and move on. He was really good in the bedroom, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, you want to know what? Then have an open and honest conversation with him about it okay. and either prepare for him to step up and lay down, <laughs> or, or then he'll just walk out of your life. Okay. It's worth a conversation. It's only been four months. You're not in love with him, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Would you like to be in love one day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how old are you? 32. Well, then why don't you focus more on a relationship that'll be long lasting as opposed to a friend with a benefit? <laughs> it's getting kind of old now. Okay, okay. You know? Right. I'm just saying. I'm gonna listen to you. You give good advice. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. All right. Race the clock is next. Yeah! Let's meet our player. What's your name? Where are you from? What do you do? My name is Yolanda. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. How you do? How you doing? What do you do there? I'm a senior medical assistant. Nice. Did you bring any soft shell crabs up with you? <laughs> it's soft shell crab so season. I just love them so much. I do too. Oh my gosh. So good. Yes. All right, you're gonna have 30 seconds to race the clock. Okay. And here's your question. It was just announced that J-Lo and Shakira are headlining this year's Super Bowl halftime performance. Name four other artists who've performed within the last 10 years. This is so easy and go. 10 years? Yes. 10 years. Okay. Don't help her. All right. Beyonce. Yes. Um, Bruno Mars. Yes. Um, Bruno Mars, Beyonce. Lady Gaga. Yes. And Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars. And Justin Bieber? No. No? Uh, Justin Timberlake! Why'd you tell her to dance? I know it was Justin! Oh, here! We'll <laughs> be right back here! Right after this, I'm shooting a brand new episode of The After Show. You can go to wendyshow.com to check it out. There's always more to talk about. Tomorrow, Dr. Drew is here to break down these celebrities and these hot topics. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye. <laughs>